I know you've been at Barclays for 25 years, yep. so grassroots, and now you're running a major business with Barclays. Why do you think SMEs are so important to you and the rest of the country? We hear that they're the backbone of industry and they turn into larger businesses as well. So why are we so important? I mean, small businesses, I mean, it's, it's said many times, but it represents about half our economy. Um, if you look at um, all the employment stats over the last four, uh, th few years, where has employment growth come from, which this country needs? It's come from businesses that turn over between one and 10 million pounds. They are net creators of wealth, they are net creators of employment. Hence, they are so important to us as a society. And the print and broadcast media talk about the banks are not lending. You can't fail not to open up a newspaper or read it online that this situation hasn't improved at all. Do you think that's a fair assessment? Um, not anymore. Um, I mean, if you go back um, three, three years ago, probably now, when the financial crisis really started, banks were in something very difficult positions. They had to double their capital reserves overnight. That's not easy to achieve. Uh, and some banks were in real difficulty around liquidity. Liquidity is what keeps banks flowing, enables them to, so if you want to borrow a loan for £100,000, a bank has to find £100,000 to lend you. Um, and some banks are running out of that very quickly, hence we had the, um, the bailouts and capital raising of the various organisations. My view now is that if a business is viable and it can prove that it can repay the borrowing, they will get that borrowing. But I highlight, I'm talking about borrowing, it's debt. Debt is repayable from future certain cash flow. Debt is not equity, it is not capital. Capital, if you need long-term investment in your business, that's a capital investment. That's the responsibility of a shareholder, much higher risk. That's why the shareholder wants a shareholding in return for that. Barclays does not do that kind of finance. And what have you seen in particular small businesses doing successfully in that customer engagement space and attracting new customers in this environment? The ones that are successful, and many small businesses in the UK are successful, far more than those who are unsuccessful. Um, I'm seeing great innovation. Uh, I'm seeing businesses take action quickly. Um, they are collaborating, they are co-creating. Um, and if you look at the measures of success relative to those ones who aren't successful, there are some characteristics. It's those who are out there networking, looking for new opportunities, new suppliers, new customers, advice, support. And I'm seeing at the moment pretty much record levels of people starting up in business. Now, sometimes that's because, sadly, people have lost their job, but you know, they are choosing to start up their own business. Um, I'm seeing many more women start up in business the first time, uh, which is really encouraging. It comes down to two things. Have you got a product or service that someone wants to buy from you, and you need to test why they will buy it from you, and can you generate that product or service in a commercially viable way? If you can, you have the start of a business. Um, what I would do is I'd get out there and test it. Don't bet your house on it, but test it. And don't, you know, you, you, the only thing that will really hold you back, I think, is your own mindset or nervousness. Get out there, try it. What are Barclays planning to do to help SMEs in the mobile space? And again, we will come back to this again, but just a quick overview. Yeah, mobile, uh, we see as very important. Um, so smartphones and, and mobile tools, and people use you know, mobile for speaking, for sending data, for taking pictures, for making payments. Um, it is definitely the way forward uh, for many people and also the younger generation coming through. So, I mean, we've got a mobile application. People can do their banking on that. They can check their balances. They can get a statement on the phone. They can get alerts as to whether they're near their, bal uh, near their limit or not. And then we've got some very exciting things coming uh, early next year on that. Well, Steve, I know we're looking forward to having you back on the panel discussion, so you'll have a further opportunity to ask Steve a question then. But in the meantime, please show your appreciation to Steve Cooper. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.